Hello. Hello. Anyone here? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Review with Random. This is episode number 11 and I am your podcaster, Random Girl. Before we start, let me suggest you something. If you are listening to this just for demo, I would suggest you to grab earphones and dive into this. Because with earphones, you can concentrate more to this without any disturbance from outside. Disclaimer. The following show may contain topics which are not suitable for minors, such as drugs, sex, and violence. Discretion is advised. The upcoming content is just a point of view of a particular person. The content is not intended to hurt any sentiment of any person, religion, caste, or community. The content is also not made to defame any company, person, or business. People are requested to not to take this as any accuse, abuse or complaint. Also, please note that the following show may contain spoilers of your favorite shows and if you are a fan of that particular platform. Welcome guys to the sex education special episode of Review with Random. Why this episode is special? Because... I was waiting for season 3 since season 1 ended. I mean, season 2 ended. Let me tell you the very basic thing about the show that the release date of the show was the last week, 17th of September 2021. And believe me, I completed the show in 2 days, even I had work. The show got a review of 100% in Rotten Tomatoes as of now. The show got an average ratings of 7 to 8 in IMDb I think also because the season 3 reviews are not posted yet for the show but the 2019 version, the season 1 got 8 point something ratings. If you check out the individual ratings of each episode of season 3, you will get to see that there are ratings 8.7, 8.5, 9, 9.2, 9.3 like that. Like no rating is below 8 for any episode. Anyway, I am not telling about the cast because I hope that you have watched season 1 and 2 already and if you haven't watched it, you can still search the cast on Google. I just don't want to waste time telling about the cast because I think I have said a lot about the series and I think this episode will already be long. And by long, I mean to say a podcast which provides review about series. But still, I think it justifies itself because... Even being a long episode, the show itself is more than 8 hours, so the review can even go to like 1 hour. Okay, so uh, I think you guys do care about the episode length because you have to listen to all my shit. Anyway, without wasting more time, let's just jump into the review. And don't worry. I have already cut all the extra part where I was talking like a mad person and have made this episode as short as possible. <laughs> the starting of the series shows a book written by Otis Mom which is about sex education. Well, the book completely justifies the title of the show. And let me just tell you before the scene the show actually started with an awesome banging scene where people are banging each other. <laughs> and that was so amazingly shot. I just don't know if it is some scenes which will be shown in the future or it's just their regular life they showed. And believe me, by this episode, I am already loving this season because... Since season 3 episode 1 started, they have focused on so many things such as men's insecurities with their genitals while they think that size matters. 
and then there are a lot of good other things which they have finally showed in the series which needs to get limelight another great thing which showed in this series at the same time is number 1 that we are people we should talk and sort things out we don't have to fight or throw things to be calm and get over the rage we can just talk and sort things out which we should do and after that lesson they just taught us another lesson that whether if you are a man and you are dating another man that doesn't mean you are less masculine being gay never affects your masculinity another plot twist there is a new principal in the school whose name is something i don't remember but she tells everyone to call her hope episode 2 they both are bottom keys <laughs> i just can't believe this this is hilarious anyway main highlight of this episode is there are a lot of things happening and the new principal wants to put more discipline in the school and make them wear school uniforms also on the other hand may was trying to connect with her mom and was trying to make everything well well if you don't know about this just check out season 2 because in season 2 may would have called the police and she made her own mom arrested for some reason anyway another highlight of this episode is that guy finally tells mave what he did with her life yes that guy on the wheelchair i don't remember his name and i don't want to remember his name shit anyway that guy confessed everything to mave about the audio clip and otis and when he tried to connect with him everything he confessed everything to me about that night and all the audio and all and mave tried to connect with otis but again twist in the story ruby is with otis right now so mave didn't said anything about that and she just left ruby and otis together hey there sorry to interrupt just wanted to share one of my favorite products with you if you're bored with your regular coffee try rage coffee ones because the fun part with this coffee is that they have exciting flavors along with regular coffee and a great taste the coffees are available in different sizes and they provide loads of energy like they need usually they don't provide a discount to everyone but if you use my code random2021 you can get additional discount of 10% on each purchase isn't that exciting if you want to check out their website the link will be available in my link tree as well as in the description episode 3 Episode 3 is a semi episode in itself. It started with a couple having loads of sex but ultimately that couple also connects with the story. Also, by this time I was just thinking that Ruby was using Otis for some reason or she was not emotionally connected with him but I was so wrong when she took Otis to her house. I don't know why I feel connected to like each of the characters like Otis's maturities and Ruby's like um fake masculinity I rather say Mae's sassiness Eric's gayness but I don't know how many characters I relate to but I seriously felt Ruby in this episode she was so scared of being fragile to the person she loves that is Otis She never showed him any affection but deep inside she was also in love with him. I mean, she was so in love with him that she always used to talk about Otis to her family. That thing was so sweet. On the other hand, Eric's boyfriend didn't wanted his family to know about Eric and he introduced 
Eric to his family as a friend which definitely hurted me somewhere. By the way, his boyfriend's name uh, was Adam. And I just can't believe Ruby said I love you to Otis. I mean, that's the most, most delicate thing which you put in a relationship where you are putting a label with the person that you are totally attached with him and you are fully emotionally dependent upon him. Believe me, from my past experience, I am saying this that do not say this until you really mean and until you really feel that way. Episode 4 In this episode, we get to see things are getting sorting out between Maeve and her mother while things are breaking between Otis's mother and her co-parent or boyfriend or whatever you say. Also, we get to see that Ruby was making some distance with Otis and the reason is that she felt heartbroken and I can definitely understand that very well. On the other hand, Principal Hope tries to convey that sex is bad for teenagers and some way she was trying to frighten those kids. Again, between a lot of comedy, we get to see Otis and Maeve talking for some time and after that they just went away from each other. On the other hand, Principal Hope tell Maeve that she can go to the France trip because someone paid for her trip anonymously. Also, we get to see some discussion between Eric and Adam. We get to see some beautiful and funny moments between Adam's father and mother. We see more distance coming between Otis and Ruby and by the end of this episode, they finally leave for the France trip. Episode 5 at the very beginning of the show, we get to see someone is trying to do sext with her boyfriend but her boyfriend is too bad at it and people are saying like, you should dump him immediately. And after that, we get to see someone paid. Okay, I won't give spoilers. So we see that Maeve is finally on the trip to France with her friends where Otis and Ruby are also there. And on the other hand, Otis's mom visited to the hospital. But there comes some issues and the hospital person and his mom was very angry at the hospital management. And also, then later we see that there is some tension going between she and the co-parent. The guy wants to do a paternity test which is ridiculous. Also, we see another backdated thinking that we want only child which have our blood and genes on them so we don't want to have the other options like adoption and all so here it is shown that hope is trying to conceive but she is not able to do it now coming to the main highlight of this episode is that rahim he jammed the toilet with his poop and when the poop was not going he took it out and filled it in his socks and there is a really high funny and gross scene going to happen on this episode amy and maeve will have a fight and ola's relationship will be also affected because of her and it was also like going to break i think okay so the twist in the story is that the whole school went to our educational tour to france as you already know anyway but there are a lot of things happening including that poop scene and all so after that we get to see that the bus has left without taking Maeve and Otis so they will be alone in a place where they don't know anything anywhere and they don't have their phone so they have to stick together and they have the moment that time to sort everything out by talking so they will talk like civilized people and I won't tell you what happens next. Either they end up having a ridiculous fight or they end up having each other's back as friends. Or they kiss each other or they have sex in that place. I won't tell you anything. Episode 6 
in the very beginning of this episode we get to see Tanya and her background where she used to write fantasies the story of aliens since her childhood and her parents were pretty embarrassed with that in this episode we also get to see the distance increasing between Otis's mother and her co-parent we also get to see that again Amy came to Otis's mother for her therapy which is a really good thing and also in the first 5 minutes of the series we also get to see a picture of Eric's family in Nigeria and also we get to see the picture of wedding in Nigeria later in this episode episode 7 for this episode i would not like to reveal much things just would like to tell you that otis's mom's delivery will be shown in this episode and there will be some semi heartbreaks between the parents and their kids there will be new bonding between parents and their kids there will be new bonding between friends and it's a super emotional roller coaster episode where we see relationships are breaking and all relationships are taking a new form it's pretty too much to take in in one episode for people especially like me who are already attached so much with this show Also in this particular season I found Meve very selfish. She was just confused between two guys. She was just changing her preference according to her convenience. Believe me, in my real life I just don't like those people who are confused with everything. Yeah, I can understand that in life we sometimes get confused between two things or a lot of choices but it should be clear most of the time that what you want right like i don't like confused people episode 8 coming to episode 8 i just don't have words to explain the script i won't tell you anything about episode 8 but If I have to give you a review of the series season 3 in short then I would say you that in this season they have showed a lot 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 of support to the LGBT community the queer community and I'm sorry if I separated queer community from LGBT anyway I'm I'm, I'm so sorry but I am not so aware of it but I really am a supporter of that too because the things which they showed in this show is so deep because they not only showed that the discrimination of queer community the queer community faces a lot of struggle and also they showed the mentality or the mental state of that particular queer person that people are not accepting them and the most saddest part is they are non binary they don't have a gender and that became more tough for them because in every places there are not like gender neutral classes or washrooms so they have to struggle a lot for that but the show sex education season 3 was not just sex and education it was some real life education for all our generations where people have to understand their insecurity is they have to understand about the lgbt community and they have to understand about their own parents and their feelings they have to understand their partner's feelings and there is a lot of emotional scenes and as i mentioned it was really emotional roller coaster i am pretty much confused with the ending and neither i am happy nor i am angry i just don't know i i just can't explain the feeling because that ending was beautiful as well as bad because it was incomplete for a lot of characters i just can't explain once again i'm saying this but if you really trust my reviews and trust what i say you'll to see 
guys i really recommend you to watch sex education and if you haven't watched it till now please watch it since season 1 to season 3 is already released and you haven't watched it i would suggest you to like give it a shot in like one go try to complete it in one go i didn't meant like to stop everything to stop your walk but if you're starting to see the series then please do not stop and watch some other series in the middle just complete it you will love it i guarantee you you won't be bored maybe in the season 1 or 2 you might get bored but in season 3 there is no scope for that season 3 was worth waiting for 2 years and i recommend you guys if you are 18 plus just go and watch it anywhere you want because i know that everybody can't afford a netflix subscription so you can watch it in torrent or uh, telegram or whatever but if you are not getting the links to watch just text me on instagram or twitter and i will try to provide you the torrent link or whatever possible please note that i do not support piracy i genuinely support to take a subscription and watch the content because i am also a subscriber of netflix even though it's not my solo account it's shared by 2 to 3 people other than me but still it's worth it and also that's a different topic random girl is recommending to watch sex education season 3 right away now talking about the flaws of the series somewhere i felt eric's acting was disturbed in the middle or i don't know but the act was still beautiful as well as there was some cinematography portions which i didn't like but eric's acting was somewhere unnatural in the middle talking about the cinematography which i already mentioned that there were some parts really a very little portion of the part which i don't like but other than that the cinematography everywhere was damn beautiful and a lot of places also they were very beautiful i loved the cinematography i loved the color selection the filter everything was beautiful and one thing i didn't like about the show was missing stories of missing people like what happened to ruby what happened to who all those things were missing as i said the ending was incomplete and complete in some way but the season ended in a very mysterious way so i even cannot comment that if there will be another season or not but i would love to see more of these in future so if there is a new season coming up for sex education season 4 then i would love to watch the storyline as being very crisp and not too boring anyway uh, i just wanted to tell you as a review that i was so in love with the series i don't know about other people i don't know about that girl with 1 million subscribers in youtube who is so backdated i can say who is just not happy with any sex scene in any web series but i am progressive i am modern and i loved the show so if you haven't watched it just go and watch if you are still listening thank you so much for that hold on i haven't finished yet if you like this episode you can show your love by liking this commenting leaving a positive review and sharing the episode if you are sharing a screenshot listening to my podcast don't forget to tag me if you want more reviews or a particular review on a show you can just directly message me on instagram and request for that i have opened a new youtube account and if i get 100 subscribers i will start uploading all the episodes over youtube too so please support me there if you want to connect with me personally follow me on instagram follow me on facebook to get the latest update my id is @randomp2021 you can also tweet your suggestions love thoughts with the hashtag #randomp_podcast_anchor hashtag and link to my social media will be available in the description for your ease to find me thank you so much for listening take care peace out Mwah.